Black Magic Design is clearly always listening to its customers if you look at the forums and see the release of DaVinci Resolve 19.1.1 today because they've added an editing preference checkbox that allows you to change the default pasting behavior if you'd like to copy and paste clips. Whether it's based on the playhead position or the in and out marks, let me show you how it works. So the new checkbox to revert to the old legacy behavior, if you go up to the DaVinci Resolve menu, Preferences, okay, it's not a project setting, it's a preference. It'll be a user preference, editing, then down here we have prioritize pasting to in and out range. This is what's new. So if you want the old behavior before 19.1, this is it right here. I'll hit save and I'll just show you how this works really briefly. So if we have like a really long clip right here, this, this one right here, and we want to paste a shorter segment and restrict to the in and out range of it, what you can do, select the clip, I'm just lasso selecting it, Command C, and let's say I want to restrict the paste of this to, let's say even another timeline, but a much shorter duration of it. A couple of things I want to show you here. One is you can turn on display stacked timelines to get another timeline available. And someone was act asking about this recently. If you just do this, this gives you that pancake style timelines. And I just need to choose a different timeline in my in my project to paste to. Well, this is originally on video track one, so I do want to show you if you want to paste to video track two instead of it being on one, the easiest way is to option or alt click the track, the auto track selector, and then that'll paste up to video track two instead. And if I want this to be pasted explicitly to this in and out mark, that's a super short range right here. You can see I just did 11 frames. Now with that checkbox selected, I hit command V, it restricts that in and out range to just that specific spot. Now it's taking the in point of here, so maybe that's not super useful for this, but for effects, um, for other things that you have that are super long, you might find this really helpful to constrain your in and out range on your pasting. So the old behavior or the old new behavior of 19.1 onwards, if you don't have that checked, so let me go back over here, user preference and I'll deprioritize pasting to in and out range. What it'll do is it'll take the playhead position for pasting. So in that same case, if I took this first clip here that's longer, I hit Command C to copy it, and I come down here to my other timeline, my copy and paste to timeline. On this one, now that if I hit paste, you see where my playhead is? Instead of the in and out marks, actually let's leave those on there so you can see how this will work. Right there, and so if I leave my playhead over here, you can see what it's doing is it's actually pasting well, the beginning of this is so short, <laughs> you can barely see, but it's basically, it's going to paste the entire segment of clip that I had copied and pasted, and it's ignoring the in and out point. So if you wanted to ignore the in and out point, that's the new default behavior. You don't have to go check that box, but if you do want it to pay attention to your in and out point, when you hit the paste, the command V for paste button, then there's your checkbox. I hope this helps. My name is Chadwick. I'm a certified DaVinci Resolve master trainer. I'm super excited for stuff like this because it, it means that there's a company that listens to our feedback and they want to make the best software for us to make cool stuff. And because there's so much more to learn, I'll see you in the next video.